hello guys and this is just the completion of the last shot 56 tutorial hopefully you've learned a lot on how it works i just want to give a little sequel to what we did last time you know the last time this is the main circuit let me go here you know we had we had the hash message as an input we have the message itself and the hash message itself but that was what we did in the last tutorial so here i'm just trying to make a simple actually you know sha256 the hashed message input is actually the six constants block so this is the sharp block here the hash message input which we had in the last tutorial is actually meant to be this this here I uh, will demonstrate so you know in the last tutorial we had this here we had this this hash input but it is actually replaced actually with this constant this constant this SHA-256 this were the six con the eight constants we generated let's see what this is this SHA-256 uh, as output let's let me show you what it is so this this is what it is the six as inputs eight as inputs actually the first eight as constants which represent the roots fractional root of the prime numbers so these are what is actually meant to be to be at this particular spot of this circuit at this hash input so but as a designer you can actually decide to make them an input so you can have something that is quite very unique as yours that was why in the last tutorial i actually had a different hash input you can use here but if we use those constants you see that <coughs> the main ic circuit won't have the hash input it's only going to have the message as in a typical sha256 block so i'm going to only have the message which is going to be hash and give you the hashed output so that is what the standard sha256 circuit block is meant to look like but you know in the previous tutorial we had a different circuit altogether that gave it the leverage of having an input the ash was an input in the last tutorial so it's up to you as a designer to either use the use this this our ash block this one this chart 56 h of o or to use a separate input for it so that is the end of this tutorial thank you